Hello, family and friends. Today, we'll continue the discussion about ticks. So what should you do if you find a tick on your body? The most important thing to do is remove it. As per the CDC, here are the steps. Number one, use a fine tip tweezer to grab the tick as close to the skin surface as possible. Number two, pull upward with steady, even pressure. Don't twist or jerk the tick. This can cause the mouth parts to break off and remain in the skin. If this happens, remove the mouth parts with clean tweezers. If you're unable to remove the mouth parts easily, leave it alone and let the skin heal. Number three, after removing the tick, thoroughly clean the bite area and wash your hands with rubbing alcohol or soap and water. Number four, never crush a tick with your fingers. Number five, dispose of a live tick by putting it in alcohol to make sure it's dead. And finally, placing it in a sealed bag or container or wrap it tightly in tape. If necessary, you can share the tick with your doctor to find out if any treatment is needed based upon the type of tick that bit you. The next question is, how can you prevent getting a tick bite. First, try to avoid woody, bushy areas with high grass. Walk in the center of trails. You can treat your clothing and gear with 0.5% permethrin. This treatment can continue to be effective after several washes. You can also purchase pre-treated clothing. In addition, it is best to wear light colored clothing so you can easily spot the tick. Wear a long sleeve shirt, long pants, long socks, and high boots when walking in the wood or grassy areas. And tuck your pants into your socks or boots so that the tick can't crawl up your leg. Use tick repellent. You can apply an EPA registered insect repellent. My preferences are pacridin or oil of lemon eucalyptus. Make sure you take a shower within two hours of being outdoors and check your skin and your children's skin closely after being in a tick prone areas, especially under the arms, behind the ears, inside the belly button, between the legs, behind the knees and in the hair. And don't forget to examine your gear, backpacks and pets. Ticks can tag along to your home on these items, then attach to a person later. It typically takes between 24 to 48 hours of feeding for a tick to infect a person. So the sooner a tick can be identified and removed, the better off you are. Well, that's it for today. See you next week.